Everybody, no gas, Nico here. Guess what? My test is over. I uh, I went ahead and did a test. Now, for those of you that don't remember, this is what I said in a previous video. Check this out. Uh, the weather's not cooperating with my cause, so I have to wait for it to get colder. And then I'm going to go ahead and it'll fault out. I'll take it on the highway and we'll fault it out. And I also said this. And this one, they need a fault code to fix it. So we'll give them one. And this. Because now I worry about my wife's safety. I did tell Nissan also that this car is not safe in the condition it's in because it will throw a fault code. It's not there yet, but once um, once the Michigan winter really hits, we get really, really cold temps, that car is going to fault out. And finally this. My prediction, they're going to say they didn't find anything wrong, everything's good, and they're going to send me on my way. But So I made a lot of predictions, right? Let me make another one. Lions are going to win the Super Bowl. See, I can say that because I don't have any fact of whether or not they're actually going to win the Super Bowl. I had facts to show me that this car was actually going to fail. So these aren't predictions, they're diagnosis. And so let's get into the video and I can show you how everything I diagnosed was going to happen did. Let's get into it. Okay, here we go, about ready to start. I was going to take off, but then I noticed I got 96% battery and... uh I kind of just want to show you my setup here. And I have Leaf Spy running, and I'm going to run it here. And I'm going to screen record this. That way you can see all of the cells and how they respond in the cold weather. And then I have my camera mounted here on the pillar. And you can see it's got a pretty good view of the dash. So we'll be able to see... Uh, the power availability and if the power starts to drop off which would be indicative of a bad cell so there you go <clears throat> that's my setup i'm not going to be shown visibly i may do a recording over top and maybe do like a picture in picture and uh voice over some of this but uh i don't have my phone mount to record me uh my wife has it in my bmw so um I don't have any place to put this phone on my dash to be able to record me. So anyway, um, it's just going to be the recording of the dash, recording a Leaf Spy, and then I'll uh, do some commentary over the top. Here we go. Got 146 mile range. I got about a 40 mile drive. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm going around the roundabout, getting ready to get on the highway. So I'm going to put a timer here so you can see how long it took me on the highway for this to fail. Now look at Leaf Spy. I'm already up over 500 millivolts. Look at these cells. Now look at my power band here. This is the power available for the engine. Those little gray dots are dropping. Look at my range. Look at the battery percentage. This starts dropping like a rock. I'm not even on the highway yet and I already lost half the battery. So I'm accelerating, accelerating. I'm trying to get up to speed. There's semis barreling behind me. And within 30, 31 seconds, I lose, I go down to 6% battery and I get the bit low charge warning. Here it is. Battery charge. I need to find a charger. It's not, not that low. I just got on the highway. So as I start to increase the regen, I'm going to increase my range. Notice the range is going up. The battery, the blue bar in the battery is going up. Now I got to accelerate some more because again, I need to get position and it happened quickly we're talking about a minute and a half pop up turtle mode i lose heat i can't go more than 25 30 miles an hour this thing failed exactly like i said it was going to be fail now here i am again low battery warning and you'll see on the speedometer there's going to be a little orange light pop up here in, in a second in about 20 seconds that's going to be turtle mode when turtle mode comes up it is protection mode for the battery so it there's no more heat to the vehicle all you can do is drive it for about 25 30 miles an hour so right here turtle mode pops up about a minute 28 and that's it i can only do 25 miles an hour from here on out and if you notice here the little gray dots that's the power available that's as fast as i can go that's as fast all the power is going to let me go in the in the car so again exactly everything i told nissan was going to happen happened and the very first time i took it out in the michigan extreme cold so what do you think think i should start making vegas bets with all my predictions coming true 
or is just Nissan need to step up their game and learn how to properly diagnose these vehicles. Again, just because there's no fault code doesn't mean that there's not a problem. What if you had an engine in a car, brand new car, let's say it's, you know, two, three years old, and it starts blowing out blue smoke out the rear end. And then the dealership tells you, well, there's no fault code, so there's nothing wrong. Your car is actually in excellent condition, but yet you're blowing out blue smoke and you're going through a quart of oil a week. Would you accept that? I'm not accepting this either. So again, that's all I have. Thanks for watching. God bless. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and see what's happening next. See what the dealership says. I bet they're going to say there's some bad cells and going to have to replace some modules. Another prediction, or did I diagnose it? All right, we'll talk to you soon, and God bless.